Brightside has one of the most popular YouTube channels and this video in particular has 35 million views on how to lose belly fat with no diet, no exercise. I'm about to call BS, but first let's watch. Let's get started. Be woo. No diet, no exercise. How I lost belly fat in one week. You didn't, cause that's physically impossible. Do you have that one item of clothing hanging in the back of your closet that's perhaps a little on the small size, but you swear up and down one of these days, you're gonna lose the weight and rock that. Why are they showing dudes attacking each other in an abandoned warehouse wearing a uni suit? The biggest thing holding me back from putting on that dress is my belly, literally. So I decided to do something about it. I got rid of the pooch in just a week without any extreme dieting or hours at the gym. I'm not saying extreme dieting is necessary to lose this terrible word, the pooch, but you do need to control your caloric intake. I always tell that to people. If you're trying to think about exercise for losing weight, you're thinking wrong. You need to think about your diet and your activity, not your exercise. Because if you walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes, that's not nearly as many calories as if you were walking throughout the day for the 15 hours you've been awake and taking the stairs instead of the escalator. When I say I decided to get rid of my gut, perhaps I didn't use the right term. I was basically thrown into panic mode when the guy of my dreams asked me out one day. This seems like it's some kind of NLP thing that's like they're trying to convince you that you need to lose weight. This is the problem with diet culture. This bright side I can't believe I just cursed. I wanted to not only look drop dead gorgeous in that body hugging number, but also feel better. First and foremost, I started by doing some research. Oh, she went into a lab and worked in a, with a microscope with courtesy of Brightside. Did I stutter? Then with, with cur So I drew up a list of goals I wanted to achieve. Get rid of bloating, reduce water retention, reconsider my diet and lifestyle. So you are gonna reconsider your diet, which is the first thing you said in this video that you're not gonna do. What I did to reduce bloating. Okay, I can't so wait for bloating it. Bloating is definitely not fat. Okay, definitely, okay. It's air or gas that collects in your gut and causes the stomach to feel tight, full, and swollen. Once I'd established that I was indeed bloated. How did you establish it? Because the YouTube video that you watched said it? I tried this thing called acupressure, since oh I read my. that it really helps with no. bloating. I used the following two methods. If they say to get a foot rub to lower bloating, I'm gonna have a coronary. The first pressure point can be found about four fingers above your belly button. I massage this spot for three minutes using both clockwise and counterclockwise movement. I have to massage one of my acupressure spots and woosa, woosa. And the funny thing is I'm not against like an abdominal massage. Like we do mesenteric lifts when we uh, learn osteopathic manipulative medicine. But what they're saying here is so overblown. The other point is four fingers below your belly oh. button. Again, I massage this spot for three minutes, moving in clockwise and counterclockwise. This is an awkward image that I wish YouTube blocked. And get rid of heaviness in the stomach. Why are they showing a ship anchor? Yeah. I'd say it works. The reason why mesenteric lifts work is because when you mechanically massage your intestines, it could actually stimulate peristalsis, which is the muscular movement of the intestines pushing food forward. If for whatever example, you have a little bit of ileus where there's peristalsis is decreased and there could be all sorts of causes for that. Massaging the area could stimulate that movement. You can also just eat a teaspoon of grated ginger before meals. That's what I did, but it was a little too spicy for my liking. Along with the acupressure and ginger recipes, I started adding turmeric powder to my water and smoothie. I just don't know what turmeric is gonna do for bloating, especially if you don't know the cause of your bloating. The symptom of bloating is so nonspecific, it can be attributed to so many different conditions. Acid reflux, ulcer disease, inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. You could have a mass, you could have a tumor, you could have diverticulitis, you could have appendicitis, and yet, they have the solution for you. Just a little sprinkle of ground ginger, little sprinkle of turmeric, and the world is gonna be perfect and you could wear that dress and look gorgeous. Yeah! 
I also needed to flush out the excess fluid that was building up inside my body. How do you know you have excess fluid? At least, that's what the experts recommend. A what experts? Here's exactly what I did to get rid of this so-called fluid retention. Thank God they wrote it on the laptop, because I couldn't follow along otherwise. I cut way down on my salt intake. I read that too much sodium, which is the stuff that's in salt, causes the body to retain more water. Okay, that's not wrong. But you know how she said too much salt and you said cut your salt way down? How do you know you've been taking too much that you should be cutting it way down? What if you've been taking the appropriate amount and now you're cutting it down even more? This would explain that puffy feeling I'd been having before the experiment began. This is an experiment. Okay, so it's not proven, this is your theory. I knew it! <laughs> Tomatoes, bananas, spinach, avocados, beetroot, and coconut water became my best friend. Or you could just eat literally any vegetable and they'll be your best friends. I tried to consume fewer carbs, since they supposedly increase your insulin levels. I love that we just said at the beginning of this video, we're not gonna be doing an extreme dieting. I cut down salt, I cut down water, I cut down carbs. You cut everything out of your diet. But to tell you the truth, it's not that restrictive of a diet. It is, not this part, but everything that you just said is. So you don't really feel like you're dieting. Except you are. How I changed my lifestyle and reconsidered my diet. This whole thing's about the diet. Julian. Here's how I lost my belly fat without changing my diet. And here's three steps how I changed my diet. I replaced carbs with protein. No, I didn't feel starved or unhappy. I actually felt lighter and full of energy. Nuts, fish, dairy products, and meat turned out to be no less delicious than junk food and pastries. You could have all those things in junk food. Junk food doesn't mean that you're not eating meat or protein. There's plenty of protein-filled junk food. I reduced my portion sizes, but ate more often throughout the day. That doesn't really change much. You're still consuming the same amount of calories. I completely quit the sugary store-bought stuff and made my own tasty and fat-burning drinks at home. Like the smoothies you just showed in the previous clip that have tons of added sugar in them? To make a super refreshing and slimming citrus drink, throw half a cup of pomegranate, half a cup of grapefruit, a pinch of salt, and one teaspoon of honey into a blender. And that's it. And that's it. Get 38 ingredients that are probably off season for you, and that's it. Instead of sitting in front of the TV all evening, I went for short 15 to 30 minute walks. I like it. Basically, any little thing I could do to get moving more, I did it. Here's a simple way I lost my abdominal fat. I completely changed my life. I started walking a ton more. I started changing my diet. I completely cut out all bad foods. And that took no exercise and no dietary changes. But you just gave me 400 different things that you changed. I did try one specific exercise you can do for bloating, and it's called the stomach vacuum. <laughs> it's not as scary as it sounds. All you have to do is get on all fours and inhale. Are they going to cat cow? Loosening up your stomach muscles. There's nothing wrong with this exercise, but to say that this is going to change anything in your belly is absolutely ridiculous. Do an exercise that gets your heart rate up, that is good for you from a sweat perspective, from a heart rate perspective, from a strength training perspective. And remember, you can't spot reduce. Just because I'm going to do a bunch of sit-ups, doesn't mean the fat on my abdomen's gonna go away. I did this for just five minutes a day, and I saw a big difference. Oh yeah, that's what she looked like when she did those stomach vacuums. That dress ended up fitting me better than ever. Oh, and I got lots of compliments from my date. This is literally a transformation that would take months, and that's the reasonable expectation for one to have. To promise this in a matter of days is complete boo. I don't want to say it, BS. But what started as a one-week experiment actually became changes I've made for good. I look and, more importantly, feel so much better. So if you're dealing with bloating, excess weight, if you're dealing with bloating or excess weight or you're staring at the beach in a full suit wearing Oxford shoes, the funny thing is if this video said make healthy lifestyle changes for a healthier you, I would be with it. But the thing that they're twisting is how long all of this is gonna take, the promise that you don't have to make any major changes. Why is that bad? Because you're gonna think that you're a failure, that you couldn't get it done in such a short number of days. You will fail because it's much harder than they initially explained that it is. So it's gonna be demotivated. Motivating. And when you're demotivated, you're less likely to stick with it. One of the things they recommend that's actually helpful, instead of the elevator, take the stairs, instead of watching TV, go for a walk, those things are gonna pay dividends. What they're also gonna do is gonna give you motivation to continue on and making more changes. Don't wait for the motivation, start with the action. Here's some wild things people do on airplanes. Click here to check it out, my medical explanations as to why they are or aren't healthy. As always, stay happy and healthy.